Short time hotels in the Philippines. They're pretty much everywhere um, in the big cities. Provincially, you don't see them as much. Um, now, the first thing is some of these go for like you can rent a room for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, three hours, six hours. There's all different sorts, and it's basically designed not just around the um, market for the uh, what would you call it? Ladies of the night should we say but also you have to look at the philippines population and how many people live in a house it's very common for several generations to be sleeping in the same room um i know when we booked a resort room before uh, there's been like 10 mattresses all in a row uh in the same room because you hire it as a party and everyone just chills out when they chill out so the family bond thing is quite important in the philippines and the fact that space seems to be an issue so for even for couples it can be a bit difficult to get time on their own so there's a lot of hotel usage for that need should we describe it as where basically couples could disappear off to a hotel you'll find it very common for weddings anniversaries birthdays etc that people will actually book themselves into a hotel because they want a bit of intimacy. Because when they're at home, they've got the four kids, they've got the, uh, the nanny, they've got their parents, everybody's in the same house, where at a hotel they're going to be a privacy. Um, this is why these short-time short, short -time hotels exist. Um, it's a blend of for couples, but also for ladies of the night, which aren't all at the night, because during, you know, Ayala, for example, Ayala Mall in Cebu, there's a lot of uh, working ladies available during the day that are constantly looking for foreigners. Um, the same goes, the, there's certain areas in, like Mango Square, Mango Square in Cebu City is notorious for um, working ladies. Uh, so there's certain areas, there's always a... Uh, Always somebody available, should we say. I think that's the politest way of putting it. But the hotels, the re so I think Sogo, Sogo is probably one of the famous ones. You'll see it, you know, the, and they, they'll, they'll put the price and the number of hours or one hour or whatever. Um, but extremely common. You know, everybody knows what they're there for. It's obviously not a hotel that stopped for a fortnight. <laughs> well, it depends what you... <laughs> what type of holiday you're on but the, it's mainly for a need or urge rather than a hotel for um, regular use yeah.